Shivendra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to resubmit your flow number of times dynamically. Okay, means if you have to run a same flow, okay, multiple times like ten number, twenty number, or n number of times without submitting it, so we will create this flow today. Okay, so let's I showcase you one demo. Let's I go in the run history. Okay. So if you have to run your flow, okay, n number of times, so we will create this type of flow. Okay, so manual trigger, get environment as admin, and then we resubmit this same flow. Okay, and if you want to trigger the flow number of times, okay, so we will use this flow. So let's create both the flows one by one. Okay, so here I'm in the Power Automate. Let's click on the create action here. You can use any trigger. For now, I just use the instance trigger. Let's give the flow name. Selecting the trigger, okay. Let's giving name to my flow. Dynamically resubmit flow, and this flow is available in the my GitHub repository, and the link is also available in the description box. Okay, from there you can go download this flow and use it. Yeah. So just I click on the create. We will use the new designer because after some days. Old designer will replace, so it is always recommended to upgrade ourselves. Okay, so here is manually trigger action we are using. Okay, after that we have we need to add an action here. Just simply type here get environment as admin. I simply search for get environment as the admin. So just scroll it down little bit. I guess yeah. In the Power Platform admins, you will get this action: get environment as an admin. So let's I simply click on this. Okay. After clicking on this, we need to use write an expression here. Okay. So I simply click on here, enter the custom value, clicking on the Power FX, and here we need to type an function. Okay. So we type here workflow. Workflow. Let's I give here question mark. Okay. In the question mark, I will use the single quotes and type here tags, and here one more square bracket single quotes. In the single quotes, I will type here environment name. Okay, I simply type here workflow question mark tags. In the bracket e small environment n is capital, and just simply click on the add here. Okay, and after that, we will use action here resubmit flow. Okay, so let's I simply. Go and click here, add an action, okay, and simply type here resubmit, resubmit flow, okay. So here we have one action, resubmit flow. Let's say simply in the resubmit flow, I will go <coughs> and type here. I simply type here output get environment as admin means this actions output, and we want the name from that, okay, and just simply click on the add. Now we have to select the flow. Okay, so to select the flow, okay, you I simply click here. Okay, enter a custom value. Click on the power FX. Okay, and simply okay. So what is this workflow? Workflow is a function. Okay, so if you able to see, it returns all details about the workflow itself during the runtime. Okay, means we are creating this flow. Okay, so if any information related to this flow, okay. We will get this by using workflow action. Okay, and I simply click on the add. Okay, now we have to give the trigger name. So I simply give the trigger name here manual. Okay, so let's I use here manual. Now we have to use the run ID. Okay, so run ID. <coughs> simply, uh, we will go to Power FX. Type here workflow. Okay, after workflow, I will give question mark square bracket. Here I will use run. Okay, so I simply type name. Okay, N A M E name, and just click on the add. Okay, so if I run this flow now, okay, so our flow will trigger continuously. Okay, it will not stop. It will not do any action. Okay, it will run continuously. Still, we cancel our flow and turn off it. Okay, so still our flow will run. Okay, if you have to run your flow infinite time, so you can use this flow. Okay, simply manual trigger, get environment as admin, and resubmit flow. Okay, but now in such a case, if you have to run your flow. Ten times, twenty times. Okay, so for that purpose, you can use one action. Okay, <coughs> use any data source. So simply, I go to the my SharePoint list. Okay, you can select any list. Okay, I selecting the my one side patch. Okay, in the patch, I have mock data site. Okay, 
and this site i have created on column okay number of runs okay number of tests okay so i just simply go select this editing grid so i want to run this load 10 times okay so i will put here 10 okay and simply click on the exit grid view okay so here is number is 10 okay so i will go to my power automate flow add an action here okay what action i will add first get item SharePoint action. Okay, so I simply click on here. Let's say I give the site here. My site is patch example one. Okay, list name is mock data. This data is taken from the mock website. Okay, from there you can be take. So ID is four, and one more action we need to use. Okay, action that is upgrade update action. To update this item means if flow runs one time so we go in our sharepoint site and subtract one from that okay and if it equal to zero then we will start stop our flow okay so we are following this so id is four to all and we just have to write this okay i will go to power fx i will use their sub uh, in the sub i will go to dynamic content here i will search the dynamic content number Test. I click number test minus one and click on the add. So now our flow is run ready. We need to give one condition here. Add an action. Apply condition. Okay. So I simply give one condition here. In the condition, I will go in the condition. Simply use here dynamic content. Okay. <clears throat> number of test equal to zero. And if I will push this resubmit, okay. And if it is not, then flow should terminate. You can use terminate action as well here. So in the add action, I will use here. So we can be used here. So our flow data is succeeded. Same action, you can simply copy. Go to this part and paste action on the save. And now you can run your flow. It will run 10 times, okay. So let's say my flow is saved and just I click on the test manually. Click on the test. Continue. Run flow. Done. So you can see our flow is run successfully. Okay. And it is re triggered 10 times. Okay, let's I go one step back, go to the all runs. Okay, you can see one by one our flow is running. Okay, so it is one, two, three, four, five. Five times is done. Okay, once this succeeds, it will add 10 times. Okay, let's I go to the SharePoint and let's I refresh this. Okay, so you can be see our test is number becomes zero. And if I go to Power Automate and refresh this, so here all 10 flows will. Present here. So, in this way, you can resubmit your flow as per your convenience and number of times as well. So, if you have any doubt, any question related to this, you can be asked me into a comment box. Okay. I'll be always there to help you out. Thank you, friends. Have a nice day. Keep learning, keep growing, keep exploring.